Hello everybody, welcome! Today I'm gonna play Salem. This is a game, one of my, I guess one of my favorite games that I played like uh, previous years and so on. And I really like this game. And uh, yeah, this is my house. This is uh, my current house that I got on my current claim. So maybe you wonder what Salem is. Salem is an free to play, open world, sandbox, uh, and uh, permadef crafting multiplayer online thing. And basically you craft these things like these ones. I actually stole these. Bad Baron too. I found them out in the wilderness and I picked them up and took them. But since they're not on someone's claim, you can't really say that that is mine, so it wasn't really considered a crime to the gameplay mechanics. So that's what I got for these and uh, got a little bit of a uh, wooden box here with a few things. A little bit of uh, snake skin, some leaves, some... Uh, Warm bite crickets, which I've been hunting before, and majestic acorn. So in this game, you make these things, you craft those things, you build this house, you sleep in a bed. We're not gonna do it now, cause instant log out. But the beds are really good. I'm not gonna go through it now, but uh, maybe later on. So here we're going out. You will be able to see my camp soon. Here it is. Here you see, that's my little house. That's where we was just now. So this is the camp I got so far. I started, um, I guess, two days ago. So this is what I got so far. This is my claim stone. You can see my area here. It's uh, 165. I don't know if it's square meters or whatever it is. It looks really weird. Doesn't look like the normal symbol for it. And uh, this is the area that's like in a different color here. So this is my place and uh, I own this. So. Other people who I don't allow can go in here if they don't decide to do a crime and uh, some people might do it. It's not that easy, you can't just walk in if you have these stats really really low without going in deeper to them for now. But uh, I could allow like trespassing, I can assign different people to like different colors and I can set the different uh, permissions. So one color of people, everybody's blue to me, is gonna have... Uh, like the permission to do trespassing, vandalism or theft, I don't know why I wouldn't want that. But um, yeah, you can have it for example if you have one friend who's playing here. If you're playing together you would probably give all of this permission to your friend. So, I mean, I, so in this video, this is the first video that I will be making with this. I haven't decided exactly what we would do. If we would go around and do a lot of things or if I should focus more on like tutorialish things. I'm still a noob at this, I still have a lot to learn on my own, but I would uh, not feel too bad about sharing a little bit with that. I got a few more crates here and I actually made all this, I made this house, it's really easy to make it though. Didn't take much time and I was really lucky with this place as well, because I got a really really flat ground as you can see. Really really flat. If it wouldn't have been flat, I would have to dig around and make it flat, to be able to put down like a house and things like that. So there are many things in this game, so I can show you one pretty basic thing. I made this campfire, a little bit of stone, so I can pick branches from this tree. I would say that this game is uh, pretty realistic in many ways. Maybe not in all ways, but in many ways. And for people who maybe haven't played this for a long time, they actually changed the inventory system. So see, I have a lot of things here. Instead of having a limited amount of slots, now we're limited by the amount of the weight that we can carry, so for example, right now I can carry 24 kilos without having problems. I carry 25 now, but I'm still able to move. But if I get too much, I'm not gonna be able to move anymore, so... Okay, so let's put a little bit of uh, wood on here. I just wanna show you guys a little bit about this game, and uh, then I'm gonna let you guys decide if you would like to see more of this. I definitely will continue playing this, that's uh, for sure. I really like this game, it's really awesome. So if anyone who's really into getting into a little bit more of an advanced game that uh, I guess rewards you in many ways if you play good and if you die you lose a lot so it's not you know Rambo style I guess maybe someone do it too <laughs> maybe I don't know I wouldn't do it wouldn't be worth it in my opinion and you can't just go like ra like raise someone make a new character and just go and go into a camp like mine and uh, take everything over. Because when you're doing crimes, you're losing this, they are called humors, and 
as a beginner you have really low, I don't know, remember what the exact start if it was 5 in each and <laughs> with that you won't be able to do much and you also need to acquire skills to be able to perform those criminal acts as well. So it's a really good protection against like newbies, uh, trolls, or whatever. Okay, so we're gonna start this fire, it's pretty easy. So we have this menu down here, we can do a build, we can do some combat stuff, craft, so we're gonna go for craft now, we have different, a lot of different uh, categories here. But now I'm going to go to, I think it's this one, no? Oh, I forgot on which one it is. I think it should be this one, no it's not. I basically try and find my tinder drill. I do have it on my hotkey, but I want to find it as well. Yeah, it's on the tools, of course. So here we got the miscellaneous tools, and we got a tinder drill. So this is pretty awesome. Here we see the requirements to make this tinder drill, which we can light our fire with. So, so we need two branches. We got that, and we also need any tinder, and it can be a lot of different things. So you see that it highlights these. It's gonna use those. So. For tinder I'm gonna use autumn grass, I will be using two maple leaves and I'll be using two of these branches. I'm gonna move this broken one because that's an inspirational one. Which we don't really have to go into now, but maybe later on for people who want to know. And it's a huge, huge thing about the game, it's, an, it's a must thing to do in this game, inspirationals. But I'm gonna go through that a little bit later, not, not a good idea to go into m too much stuff at the same time. Oh my god, did I... Did I fail that fast? Okay, so we need to... I don't, I'm don't. i not sure if we have enough resource for another one. Yeah, we did. I don't know if I failed that one or if I clicked away. But you can't fail doing this. Okay. Oh, I didn't fail. I dropped it on the ground. Okay. Burn through what you doing? So now let's try to light up. See the percent. Come on, burn through. You can light fire. Awesome, we got fire going. Real cool, right? So, what can we do with the fire? Well, we need a fire, for example, if um, I would want to cook something. I'm not sure if I have anything now. I mean, for fun, we can actually go on a little adventure together, guys, and uh, we can pick up some food that we can actually make eatable. Edible. So, here we got a tree. Okay, there's nothing in that. Check the other one. Okay, I probably have picked that tree too, you know. I do pick a lot of those trees. So here we can gather pine cone. So we're just gonna gather that and then you're gonna see what we get. So there are different things we can do for everything in the world. And now I do have uh, I do have a skill which allows me to actually get more when I'm picking from trees. That's really awesome. So from the beginning I would probably just get like one pine corn. And we can actually remove the cone scales. And I got the pine nuts. So that's really, really good. There are more to the foods, but I really don't want to go into too deep with things. Since there might be a lot of new people that have never seen this game before. But I would be up to maybe making some tutorials, or maybe just showing a little bit of the game. So it's gonna be up to you guys, what do you think? And if you don't think I should do this game at all, feel free to tell me so as well. So let's get back. And if you have suggestions as well, if you play this game, and you feel you have a like, good suggestion, either to me, or to some other player, or someone who wants to start out, feel free to share it as well. Feel free to do so. So we got four of these uh, pine nuts. So now we're actually gonna make something with this. Food, we're gonna make nuts, we're gonna cook some nuts. And we're gonna make these roasted pine nuts. So we have four of them, so we should, should, should just make craft all of them. We're gonna set them pop up here. Mmm, yummy. So, you eating this. I have two in stacks of these. I will regain these, as you will see when I eat the one. So they're racing up slowly. I will be able to get it back. And these are different uh, humors. They are good for different things. So I guess I can go through them like really, really quick with it, without really going into depth with it. But we have the blue one, which is called fling. So this is uh, a thing that you use very often, like if you want to run around, if you're performing tasks like shopping. Shopping down a tree, we can actually chop down this tree. And the, the flame would be going down. Soon it will. I think so. Yeah, there it went down a little bit. So that's pretty cool. And the cool thing with this is that when I chop down a tree, 
if I chop down that tree, it will be gone. It's not gonna, like, uh, regrow, I think. At least not if it's on your claim area. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we got the blood as well. Blood, I guess you could figure out. It's um, basically, I, I guess you could call it your health. That is drained while you're, like, in combat. Someone is hitting you and stuff like that. I've got a yellow one, which is called yellow bile. That is actually for... Combat, so you're doing different things. The combat system is actually pretty awesome in this game. I think it's really interesting. So I have a few things here. I only know basic combat in the game so far. But, you know, let's go and battle something. Let's go. It should be easy to fight. I'm gonna fight this cricket over here. So you could go and hunt. Uh, maybe I actually do have... Uh, we can go fight them directly. But it would be more fun if actually... I'm gonna pick up this stone. So this stone we are able to use in this one, the slingshot. So I can like aggro, shoot it, hopefully I will be hitting it. And now I'm just gonna wait for him, and then we come and I'm gonna punch him. Oh, there you go, Mr. Cricket is down. So there's some really interesting combats, you really need to time things. So for example we got the one that's called Stomp. It do take a quite a while, but it do like stun an area around you, it's really awesome. And we also had other things like guard, so we'll be able to like take a little bit more damage. You won't be like receiving as much damage as you would be without it. We also got uh, jump, can jump around things. I can't really jump far now, I think it depends on one of those skills maybe how long it is. Or maybe I have just reduced jump, because really long ago it used to be really, really, really long. And we also got regain composure, which actually like we trade like black bile. For yellow bile. So we got that cricket down, that was our first hunt. And I haven't explained the black bile either. So we got the black bile. It's, uh, I would say that it's basically used when you do study things. Like I said at the beginning, we got inspirational. This one is inspirational. And when we study those things, you can see that there are like bars over here. You can see that they fill up. And this way you will be in, like increasing your skills and uh, actually increasing your proficiencies, and when they increase, when you have enough, these go yellow. And you can fill these up and acquire these skills, which allows you to craft, do things, whatever. You can do a lot of things with this. Some are like buffs, which improves like gathering stuff and so on, and finding stuff. So it's really interesting. And this cricket uh, that we found and killed, we can actually cook this too. And there are a lot of different foods, by the way. So, I had these uh, roasted pine nuts that we made. But with the same nuts, I could have made the salt nuts. With any nuts. And depending on what nut it is, it's gonna be good for di different humors, without going deeper into it. Okay, so let's go to craft, we're gonna make some tasty little cricket. It should be here. Crispy cricket. And this is a food that's really, really good for the blood bile. Or the blood. I think it's just called blood, actually. Yeah, blood. And you can actually see it really easy because there's like a red color under here. There's a lot of information. And if you would be interested in playing this game, I highly suggest that uh, you go to like the Salem Wikipedia. They got a lot of information for all the skills, for all the items. There are a lot of things to read about. This game is very advanced. This is not for people that want to Get it going really fast and want some simple thing. Just go in and have fun directly. This game is um, dedication, I guess. Maybe not as much as like EVE Online, but it definitely is a lot of dedication if you want to play this game. So you saw a little bit of Salem now, and uh, if you'd like to see more Salem, I'll be making some more videos. We will go like on some adventures, and uh, I will explain a little bit more about, about the game, and uh, maybe make a few tutorials on a few things, so... You can see a little bit of them. I just want to see what you can do or you want to learn something from it. So guys, thank you for watching this video with Salem. If you like it, feel free to like it and subscribe if you want to watch more with Salem and other games such as Stoneheart, which I do like every week. So. so guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this and have a great day. Take care. Goodbye.